first time in like six weeks, I'm not in scrub. <laughs> In the middle of like somewhere up in North Carolina we just finished our block and one of my CBL group members is getting married up here so all of our CBL group members were invited we ended up uh, kind of playing follow the leader and ended up at this place um, just some random bed and breakfast that happened to be like an hour away from the venue because somebody didn't look at the location of it. Anyways, I can't make this up. Uh, this place is definitely haunted. with the video I just want to take a moment to thank our sponsor Vessi today if you haven't heard about Vessi Vessi has quickly become my go-to shoe whether it be in the hospital or just out and about they are 100% waterproof snowproof weatherproof and they're knit made from a material called Dymatex that is sustainable and vegan not to mention ridiculously comfortable all the time from the moment I took them out of the box, I knew they would be my go-to shoe. I have worn them all throughout the hospital and then weekend trips like this where I know I'm probably gonna be in the mountains, who knows if it's gonna be wet, windy, dirty. I can take these anywhere and have no issue. I didn't even believe it at first when these were 100% waterproof, but then, hey, spilled some stuff on it. Socks completely dry. I've stepped in huge puddles with these. It's, it can handle anything from water, mud, to yeah, bodily fluids. They're really well designed to fit any lifestyle, whether it be your more formal casual wear or your more athletic sporty wear. If you want to get your pair of Vessies today, click the link down below in the description and use my code NDMD for $25 off your first pair. Truly been loving these shoes for ever since I got them and you will too. Thanks, Vessi, for sponsoring today's video. What I am looking forward to, however, is being able to catch up with all my uh, old CBL group mates because we've finished two rotations now and everybody's everywhere. You know, it's hard to keep up. So it gives us an excuse to reunite and share stories. First time in six weeks, I'm not in scrubs. Hi, I'm very late. Are we late? Very. Oh, no. Let me go check on everyone. We're matching. We are not matching. I'm so glad we coordinated this. No, no, no. Where's everyone else? This place straight up looks like something out of a, a horror movie. Oh, agree. <laughs> this actually looks like a horror movie. We might die. Or like Netflix show. Agreed. Bridgerton? Bridgerton. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, does, it does remind me of Bridgerton. A little bridgerton -y. Yeah. I need some tea. Where's the tea? Where's the tea? Abby. Where's the tea? The squad all back together again. Hi, hey guys. Of course, I'm late, as always. Come Getting on, ready. She is. She, she guess she was still a little wet when the... <laughs> she was very wet.
Hey guys, long time no see. Just a quick little update vlog because uh, it's it's been a bit, I know. Internal medicine took a lot out of me uh, as well as every medical student that goes through it. Uh, so understandably, I had to take a couple weeks uh, away from the camera. So this, this whole, this whole jazz has uh, become a little foreign to me, if I'm gonna be completely honest. It was amazing to get to catch up with all my CPL group members because we're everywhere now uh, at different rotation sites and at different stages of our clinical rotations. So, you know, getting a little life update from everyone, a lot of which was not on camera, uh, was just one of the most genuine, refreshing things um, over these past six weeks, as well as obviously being able to celebrate one of my group members getting married. David, Rebecca, beautiful wedding, beautiful ceremony. Uh, you guys are absolutely incredible and just your presence will be a blessing to all those around you. I absolutely know it. And I think a big lesson for me is to just let go of things and learn to have fun when it's time to have fun, celebrate when it's time to celebrate, um, because a lot of that has been mentally withheld from me over these past six weeks, and it's been fairly difficult to enjoy the things that I used to, um, particularly you know filming, just because things are so busy and uh, your body just tells you go to sleep because you need to you know wake up early the next morning to go around with your patients. <laughs> I have a ton of stuff planned uh, in the next couple weeks. We just recently hit 90,000 subscribers, which is ridiculous, but I already have three 73 question interviews lined up. Uh, a couple of them are on YouTube, so you'll see who very soon. I got a lot of traveling to do, a lot of catching up on schoolwork and studies that I have to do, but just wanted to pop in and say hi and Thank you. I'm alive, as in I have vital signs, but I made it here in one piece with a lot of stories to be able to share, some of which will be coming in a video very, very soon that I'm looking forward to releasing. Good to see everyone back again, and here's to getting my life back together. <laughs>